Hello and good morning, Shafter High School. Welcome back to another great episode of HQTV, Shafter High School's news source. I'm Alexis Lopez. And I'm Jalissa Jacone. And today is February 8th. Now let's see what's going on in our general community. Students, as always, there will be two, there will, there will be, <laughs> there will be tutoring and it is available Monday through Thursday in the library. Morning sessions are from 7.30 to 8.20 and afternoon sessions are from 3.30 to 6.30. Had a technical difficulty, my bad. All students, get ready for the much anticipated <laughs> dance of the year. I'm gonna be so bad, you should just say it. El baile del año. Noche de gala on March 10th. There will be live bands and a DJ. Tickets will be on sale soon and will slowly go up. Make sure to plan with your friends and take your boots. Are you gonna go? I don't know. You should go. I heard there's gonna be hella good zapateado. Ready to estrenar las botas and stuff? Anyways, <laughs> now let's turn it over to Frankie with the weather. Hey y'all. So today's weather is uh, going to be a high of 64 and a low of 36. Tomorrow is going to be a high of 68 and a low of 37. Friday is going to be a high of 70 and a low of 39. On Saturday, it is going to be a high of 70 and a low of 40. Now let's send it back to the main show. Attention all juniors and seniors, if you're interested in attending a science summer camp, the UC Davis Summer Research Opportunity is now accepting applications. The deadline to sign up is March 15th. For more information, see Ms. De La Cruz in the Career Center. Last Friday, the Listos program attended an event at the California Aviation University for the Aviation Career Day, and that sounds fun. I heard that there was like engineers and stuff. I was like, okay. Oh, that's cool. Hella smart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you enjoy free money? If you do, you need to get over to the Career Center to sign up for all of the local scholarships available to you. The application deadline is March 31st. You can get a copy in the Career Center or you may download it from the Career Center Canvas page. Remember that the only requirements are 2.0 GPA or higher. You also need to have been a Shafter High student for at least three years and are planning on attending college after high school. See Ms. De La Cruz for more info. Wow, a lot of these are see Ms. De La Cruz. Yes, Ms. De La Cruz is very well known to the seniors at this point because yes. that's who we see every other day. And really busy. I know. Anyways, seniors, for the thousandth time already, the Current Community Foundation Scholarship is now open. One application for dozens of scholarships that range from $500 to $3,000. The application is available on the Career Center Canvas page or online at currentfoundation.org. If you don't know this already, then I assume you just have been under a rock and have never watched HQ HQTV before because we announce this like every single time. Anyways, but that's it for me. Seniors, every year the Lopez family offers $10,000 in scholarships to Shafter High students only. And, on and the only requirements are being a 12th grader at Shafter High and having a GPA of 2.5 or higher. <laughs> it's a <murder. laughs> Applications are available in the Career Center, and the deadline is April 11th. <laughs> it is not mandatory that all 12th graders, so seniors, fill out the financial aid application, and um, they must apply by March 2nd, which is kind of dumb, and it's just a waste of time if you really think about it, because a lot of seniors are not going to go to college or school. But anyways, go waste your time with Ms. De La Cruz. Shout out to the mm -hmm. Art Club for this beautiful gorgeous prom poster um, that was made by President Victoria Garza and Secretary Guadalupe Feria. Feria. I was about to say I'm gonna say that so wrong. Um, so shout out to them. Good job guys. Anyways <laughs> also about um, about art. Last Thursday the, the art department took a field trip to Bakersfield College for the Panorama in, in Innovational Art. I'm probably saying that wrong. Opening, featured at BC. Is this um, the work of Kimberly, of Kimberly Palma, Maya Macias, and a group piece? Damn, who typed this? Because I know I did it. <laughs> a group piece by the AP2D and AP drawing students. Maya and the AP students' work, works were even featured on the po Damn, I can't read. On the poster, so congrats to all of these hardworking art students. Now let's send it over to Monotone Sean with the sports. 
Good morning, Shafter Eye. My name is Sean Cerner. I'll be your sports anchor for today. So let's talk about sports here in Shafter. Yesterday, we had a lot of games for basketball and soccer, so let's start off with girls basketball. Like they have been doing the entire season, they have dominated Kennedy with a score of 48-20. to Ariana Vega had a whopping double-double with 22 points and 12, and 12 boards. And now our Lady Generals are 20-9, and 9, aka they're in the playoffs now. Now it's a matter of where they're ultimately placed. They have one game left this season, so let's hope they place high. Boys basketball, on the other hand, was very unexpected. So last night, boys had a game at Kennedy, and with two minutes left, the game, they were up with two, and everything just fell apart. After a Kennedy foul, a brawl ended up breaking up both teams and causing the refs to rule it a no contest, which in case you don't know what that means, it means there is no declared winner. And typically what happens is that the players who participated in the brawl get suspended. And, well, everyone in our team did. So we are unsure what's going to happen tomorrow as they were scheduled with a game against Wasco here at home. So we'll see what the CIF does with that. Um, that could be a really bad thing because they're really, really trying to make the playoffs. So let's hope everything is all right. But, you know, chances are that game's going to be canceled. Anyway, let's talk about soccer. Boys soccer unfortunately lost to Kennedy with a score of 2-0. to zero. But on the bright side, girls soccer won with a score of 4-0. to zero. And what's even more crazy is that Kennedy had zero shots on goal. Now, there's a strong belief that girls soccer has made the playoffs. But we don't know that for sure. There's still one more game this season. So we'll see if that's actually confirmed or not. Anyway, and last but not least, the practice bus for swim departs at 4.30. And that's all I have for sports. Now let's send it back to the main show. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Monotone Sean, for all the sports. Um, yeah. The GSA Club will be selling dollar candy grams for Valentine's Day during lunch. Today is the last day, so make sure you buy your situation ship one. They will be distributed on the 14th. Your junior class advisor, Ms. Davis, and Ms. Marshall are excited to announce Shafter High School's 2023 prom. Woo! It is April 22nd at the Westchester, <laughs> downtown Bakersfield, and tickets are on sale now. Buy early and save. February 1st to the 28th is the Power Couple Special. For this limited time, tickets are two for $100 or $60 each. Cash or check only at the finance office. When buying multiple tickets, all students must be present at the time of purchase as your ticket is unique to your sixth digit. You guys better not overhype prom. That's all I'm saying. It better be fun. Don't overhype it if it's not going to be good. Anyways, guess what time it is. What yes. time is it? It's pickup line time. Where's the intro? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh. Scratch that. Anyways, um, do you want to say it or do, do you want to say it? You can say it. I always say it. Mm. Okay. I'd like to take it to the movies, <laughs> but then I'll let you bring it in. <laughs> You didn't even say it right! <laughs> Just cringe! I'm no, sorry. No, it's not. It's such a good one. Okay. Wait, go up. <laughs> okay. I'd like to take you to the movies. <laughs> but then only you bring in your own snacks. Anyways. Anyways. Don't tell anyone that because they will just fall to their feet ASAP. On that note, generals, have a super general day and tune in tomorrow for another great episode of HUTV. Shout out.